Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of One Piece. The dawn of Wano Country, the all-out battle heats up, is the 1032 episode of the One Piece anime. The group scabbards head to Momonusuke, intent on protecting him from Kenjiro. As they run, Kiku thinks back to when Aizu left Wano Country with Odin, and Aizu apologizes for leaving so suddenly. Kawamatsu asks Aizu how he thinks Wano will change if the borders are open, but Aizu deflects the question, stating they'll talk about it when they're all alive tomorrow. Kinemon states that they're in a full-blown war, and tells the rest of the group that he can protect Momonusuke alone. He instructs the other scabbards to split up and looking for areas that are short on soldiers to assist the other fighters. Most of the scabbards agree, and the group splits. However, Kiku remains with Kinemon, asking to be allowed to defeat Kenjuro, to which Kinemon agrees. After he leaves, Nekamamushi runs into Shishilian and Barayat, who ask for his help. They inform the scabbard about Pedro's death, as well as the fact that Prospero, the one responsible for his death, is present on Onigashima. They tell him that Wanda and Carrot are struggling against him, and Nekamamushi rushes to go provide assistance. Meanwhile, Yamato informs Shinobu and Momonusuke about the Marys, telling them to be careful to not get spotted. He then tells him that he's going to run off as a decoy while pretending to carry Momonusuke, drawing attention away from the pair while they wait for Kinemon to arrive. Before he leaves, however, he asks Momonusuke how Luffy's fight is going, since Momonusuke is able to hear Luffy's voice. Yamato runs to rooftop to catch up before the 1VERSUS1 is over, and Momonusuke begins to read Odin's travel log. Meanwhile, on the rooftop, Luffy and Kaido continue their fight. They trade blows, but neither is able to get a significant hit in. On the castle's second floor, Sanji carries Zoro while the latter heals from his injuries and the former fights off swarms of gifters and pleasures. On the performance floor, Chopper battles Queen. However, the reindeer is unable to defeat the All-Star, and he's suddenly hit in the back by candy arrows. However, Queen gets annoyed at Prospero, stating that he ruined the show. Meanwhile, Big Mom asks the unconscious Page One if he's the one who attacked Akabor Town, and Ulti gets mad that the Emperor attacked her brother. Nami and Yuzop try to convince Big Mom to defeat Ulti, but she gets mad at them, telling them that she'll deal with them after the Tabarapo. This causes Nami to begin cheering for Ulti, but she says the same thing as Big Mom, and Yuzop tells Kamachio to run away. However, Ulti charges after them, instantly defeating Kamachio. She begins hitting him as he lays on the floor, and Tama grabs her tail, asking her to stop. However, Ulti just slaps her, throwing Tama to the floor. This enraged Big Mom, and as she approaches Ulti, Nami runs ahead, attacking the Tabirapo with lightning. The attack throws Ulti backwards, and Nami states that she won't forgive anybody who attacks children. And that's how the 1032 episode of One Piece ends. Stay tuned and subscribe for next episode of One Piece. Make sure to drop a like and comment down your best moment in this episode. See you guys on next video.